Hi students, in this video I will discuss the viva questions based on Magdox Tixon experiment using Michelson arrangement and it is an important experiment in BTEC and BSc courses. So in this experiment we have to observe the magnetic restriction or the change in length of a ferromagnetic rod using Michelson arrangement. So this is the Michelson arrangement where we have a laser source and using this beam splitter one beam is, uh, goes towards mirror M1 and one beam will go towards M2 and after reflection we will get the interference pattern on the screen and this metallic rod is inside a solenoid which changes its length when we apply some magnetic field so due to change in the magnetic field the path uh, optical path uh, changes or there is some part difference and there will be change in the interference pattern and the change in the length of this rod is denoted by delta L and which is given by delta L equal to N lambda by 2 where N is the average number of rings which was appeared in the magnetic field and disappeared after switching off the magnetic field and lambda is the wavelength of the laser light used here which is a helium neon laser so now there are some basic questions uh, for viva so what is, what is the objective of your experiment? So it is to observe the change in the length of a ferromagnetic rod using the Michelson arrangement. On which principle this experiment works? It works on principle of interference of light and the change in length is observed using interference pattern with Michelson interferometer. What is magnetostriction effect? Magnetostriction is a property of certain ferromagnetic materials that causes them to change their shape and dimensions on applying the external magnetic field and this effect was uh, identified in 1842 by James Joule when he was studying a sample of iron what is Michelson interferometer so Michelson interferometer is a tool used to produce the interference between two beams of light and if we have a monochromatic or laser source and using this uh, uh, beam splitter you, we have one mirror is fixed and one is movable and then we get the uh, interference pattern on the screen so what is a laser so the letters in this word laser it stand for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation and a laser produces a very narrow beam of light that is useful in many uh, technological applications and in instruments a laser is a device that emits a beam of coherent light through an optical amplification process and there are many types of lasers such as gas laser solid state lasers dye lasers diode laser etc and lasers are monochromatic, coherent, very directional and highly intense source of light. What is helium neon laser and what is its wavelength? So a helium neon laser is a gas laser in which a mixture of helium and neon gas is used as the gain medium. The wavelength of helium neon laser is lambda equal to 632.8 nanometer or in angstrom it is 6328 angstrom which is uh, red color and the red color laser is used due to its high wavelength and also the fringes forms are uh, these are darker what are ferromagnetic substances those are the materials which can be magnetized by external magnetic field and they retain magnetization even after removing the external field so these then these materials are known as ferromagnetic materials and some examples are iron nickel cobalt and their alloys what is a solenoid and why you are using in your experiment 
so a solenoid is a device comprised comprised of a coil of wire which can create controlled magnetic field used as electromagnet the coil can produce a uniform magnetic field in a volume of space when an electric current is passed through it and in this experiment we are using it, uh, it for creating the magnetic field which is required to change the length of ferromagnetic rod why are you using michelson interferometer for measurement of change in length because the change in length of the material due to its magnetostriction property is very small it is of order of 10 to the power minus 6 meter so which cannot be measured or detected by naked eyes so interference experiment is used to measure the power difference or the change in the length of the material how the length of a ferromagnetic material changes with the magnetic field so ferromagnetic substances they can they contains domains which are regions of uniform magnetic field and in presence of external magnetic field the boundary of domains disappear and the domain can shift and rotate as such objects can change their shape and size why do we get circular rings the because the source is a point source and it have spherical wave threads which fall on the plane surface of the mirror and after the reflection from the perpendicular mirrors m1 and m2 we get the circular rings resulting from interference of two coherent waves how does change in length creates interference the rod is connected to one of the mirrors will create some optical power difference and which can create the interference pattern what is positive and negative magnetostriction when the material expanded under the influence of external magnetic field it is called positive magnetostriction and when the material shrinks it is called negative magnetostriction so what are the applications of magnetostriction so magnetostic materials are used to convert electromagnetic energy into mechanical energy and vice versa and this effect can be used to create sensors that measure a magnetic field or detect a force the magnetic field or force applied would create a strain in the material which can be measured if these materials are put in bearing magnetic field the rod will vibrate and create the ultrasonic waves and such materials are used in medical devices industrial vibrators ultrasonic cleaning devices and underwater sonars so thanks for watching this video next video we will discuss the magnetic susceptibility experiment which is also an important uh, experiment for the btech and bsc courses thank you